Lexi, Josh, Lindsay, and Jake Smith shower their dog Jackie with lots of love and affection. The Smiths are excited to see their one-year-old part poodle and Siberian husky mix doing so well after a recent scare. Her head was swollen about three times the size and her mouth was so swollen it was like hanging open. The Smiths rushed Jackie to an emergency clinic near their home where veterinarians discovered the dog was suffering from a rattlesnake bite. So they started the treatment there at the emergency clinic and then referred to us for continuous management due to the severity of the envenomation. Dr. Vigani was able to stabilize Jackie after she was poisoned by the snake venom. Vigani considered surgery to remove dead skin near the bite wounds but thought a different approach might better help the dog heal on her own. We offered hyperbaric chamber therapy as a possible uh, mean to prevent the worsening on the skin or even improve the condition of the skin and maybe avoid surgery. Jackie was the first animal to be treated in UF's Small Animal Hospital's new hyperbaric chamber. UF is one of the few places around the country that offers this therapy for animals. The concept behind hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been that we can deliver concentrated 100% oxygen at a high pressure and increase the amount in the bloodstream and also that's provided the tissues to try to promote wound healing. Jackie received several sessions in the chamber. And the progression towards the improvement is so was quite unexpected to all of us. The dog started to heal naturally and no longer needed surgery. <laughs> Jackie is well on her way to recovery from the snake bite as she heads home with prescriptions for medicine and lots of TLC from her family. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.